Good morning, welcome to English News. I am Anil Thomas. Now for the stories in detail. The Income Tax Department has conducted raids against some Chinese individuals and their local associates for allegedly indulging in a money laundering racket involving 1000 crore rupees using shell or dubious firms. According to the Central Board of Direct Taxes, the searches were launched based on credible inputs that a few Chinese individuals and their Indian associates were involved in money laundering and hawala transactions through a series of shell entities. The tax officials raided some bank officials involved in the scam. Based on the credible information that few Chinese individuals and their Indian associates were involved in money laundering and hawala transactions through a series of shell entities, a search action was mounted at various premises of these Chinese entities their close confederates and couple of bank employees confirm sources in the finance ministry. Search action revealed that at the behest of Chinese individuals, more than 40 bank accounts were created in various dummy entities entering into credits of more than 1000 crore rupees over the period. The case of money laundering is evident from the fact that a subsidiary of the Chinese company and its related concerns have taken over 100 crore bogus loans from shell entities for opening businesses of retail showrooms in India. Further, incriminating documents in respect of Hawala transactions and laundering of money with active involvement of bank employees and chartered accountants has been found as a result of the search action. There is also evidence of foreign Hawala transactions involving Hong Kong and US dollars have also been unearthed. Further investigations are under process. Well, for more on this story, Ajay Mishra, correspondent tracking finance for us, joining us this morning. Ajay, uh, give us more details with regards to the raids that have been conducted and uh, what more has been unearthed. Uh, good morning, Anil. Uh, I think uh, uh, the income tax department has, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, broken a big nexus of Chinese companies which are using the Hawala network in, in our country. And uh, there has been 21 locations in uh, Delhi, Ghaziabad and Gurgaon uh, which has been searched and uh, seizures has been made. Okay. Uh, it's very important to note that one Chinese individual has been uh, arrested by income tax department, which is very rare. Uh, his name is Charlie Pang, and uh, Mr. Pang was holding a fake Indian passport and back to from the state of Manipur. So imagine that a Chinese citizen first uh, goes to Manipur, uh, issues uh, fake passports in his name, and then comes to the NCR reason to conduct uh, uh, these kind of you know dubious uh, money money laundering uh, uh, activities uh, it is alleged that he was using uh, 8 to 10 bank accounts in fictitious names names uh, under under uh, pang which is not his real name is his real name is uh, mr lao and he was representing many chinese companies in india and was uh, into hawala operations it's very very serious uh, 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 you know investigation uh, which the income tax department especially uh, the CBDT has conducted yesterday, and uh, they have uh, they have broken this the big nexus of uh, uh, Hawala network uh, via Chinese companies. Uh, uh, I think uh, one of the major major uh, breakthroughs in in recent times. Okay, you know, if a larger nexus is suspected, do you expect the ED and also the CBI to come into play when it comes to because we are talking about huge amounts, thousand crores of money laundering. Absolutely, I think enforcement directly is surely going to come uh, uh, in picture. Uh, going forward, I'm not sure about the CBI, but uh, uh, obviously where the financial uh, uh, mis uh, 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 you know misappropriation of the funds are involved, money laundering is involved. Obviously, enforcement directly is going to take over the investigations. When this uh, Chinese individual, which has been uh, caught by the income tax department, will be investigated, there are more links which are likely to come up. Uh, 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 and remember, some of the bank uh, officials has, has also been questioned in this. Uh, matter Anil and also some of the chartered accountants has also been identified uh, who were involved in the whole nexus and you remember when when uh, the Modi government first uh, uh, had a big crackdown on black money operations there were almost 3 lakh shell companies which were closed down in India and this is yet another uh, classic uh, example of creation of shell companies parking black money into those shell companies taking advances from those shell companies into the Indian subsidiary of the Chinese companies and then using it to open showrooms and malls and retain outlets for the Chinese goods, so to so. So okay. there are uh, so many systemic pillars uh, in this whole operation. There are so many systemic lacunas 
where you can issue a fake passport from a from an okay. Indian state of Manipur, and you know you you get entry from China into Manipur, and then you come to uh, NCR region, you establish your uh, Chinese subsidiaries, and you know you, you you just get along with the bank officials and some chartered accountants to actually create the fictitious. Uh, 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 companies for the Chinese uh, Chinese subsidiaries in India, and then you actually try to launder the money. So okay. this is just now 300 crores of uh, hawala operations which has been, uh, 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 and you just told our viewers that it, Hong Kong was involved for for this uh, whole hawala transaction. So mm -hmm. remember, it's it's a it's a kind of multi-nation multi-nation uh, uh, you know dubious transaction that had been unearthed and. Well, it is expected that uh, more details uh, might come after the investigation. Okay, one uh, quick word before I let you go. You mentioned about some Indian chartered accountants and bank officials there. Also, does this particular ambit of rates restrict only to, you know, the North India or are we looking at a larger and a bigger nexus that, you know, we could soon see unfolding? This, uh, uh, this, uh, this the connection might extend from here onwards, but what we know as of now is only 21 okay. locations in Delhi, Ghaziabad and Gur Gurgaon area. Okay. So obviously, uh, these are the multinational uh, Chinese companies which, which, which are operating in NCR regions and uh, the searches and seizures have been, uh, have been conducted on uh, Chinese entities, which means the companies okay. which were, which were uh, you know, being operated by this so-called uh, uh, Charlie Pang, which is a mm -hmm. fictitious name, which is a fake name. But obviously, more details are uh, yet to come. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you and appreciate you joining us. The yeah. IT department there raiding Chinese firms for money laundering and hawala transactions. Well, moving.